King Charles's new move took major risk to defend Kate while secretly awarding MI5 spy monitoring Meghan. King Charles' recent move has shown his love to Princess Kate as he seemingly took a major risk to save his beloved daughter-in-law's health woes. The King's unprecedented statement about his health was reportedly designed to protect the Queen-in-waiting, who's recovering from a successful abdominal surgery. Dr Tessa Dunlop, royal expert and historian, explained the monarch's smart strategy to save the Princess of Wales in her own words, saying, Here, have some information on me, but keep your prying eyes away from my daughter-in-law. She added, Read side by side, the statements are a powerful example of well-coordinated PR. Here was a modern public service, royal family, but one with very clear boundaries. A double royal health scare was triggered last week when in the space of less than two hours it was announced the Princess of Wales was recovering in hospital following a surgery, while the King would also go under the knife for enlarged prostate. In the shock statement, the nature of Kate's surgery has not been revealed, with Kensington Palace only saying it was non-cancer related. However, in contrast, details of Charles' diagnosis have been made public with the King keen to raise awareness of the condition which is extremely common amongst men. It's highly unusual for the royal family to divulge private health matters. In that respect, the shared information about the king's enlarged prostate was unprecedented, and it was also canny, Dunlop told the Mirror. Buckingham Palace doesn't do spontaneity. The release of a statement containing private matters about the king's health immediately after news of the Princess of Wales' major abdominal surgery was deliberate, she continued. Dunlop went on, The timing deflected from his daughter-in-law's major operation, likewise the private detail concerning his prostate, gave the public something else to think about. The NHS website saw increased traffic on the subject. But beyond that obvious strategy, I believe there was something else at play. By sharing a slice of the personal, Charles' statements served to underline the absence of any real detail concerning Kate's condition. Dr Tessa Dunlop believes it was actually an obvious move in order to protect Princess Kate. The Princess of Wales is on a recovering journey after her operation at the hospital. She's expected to return home after spending 10 to 14 days in hospital. Speaking with GB News, Robert Hardman, a raw biographer, said that the King is a huge fan of the mother of three and believes she's a great asset. He's a huge fan of hers. He thinks she's a great asset, he told the publication. He'll be more worried than anyone other than Prince William about her. She's fit, she's young and she's out of action for three months. That's a cause for concern, not alarm. But he'll definitely be taking the view, for God's sake, don't make her feel she's got to come back to duties any sooner than she feels she needs to. Before concluding, he added, I don't think there's anyone who wants to put any kind of pressure on her. Meanwhile, at the Real Royal Awards, MI5's Insta revealed the King held spy Oscars with secret awards ceremony at MI5 members of the intelligence community responsible for foiling dozens of terrorist attacks received their honours out of the public eye started in 2012 but secret until now those are awards that really count and are meaningful for the recipients these people operate outside the public eye trying to keep their country safe and some of them risking their lives these are real awards Some of the spies awarded were those who monitored Meghan and Harry's unusual behaviour to prevent risks towards the Wales family. Several officials were instrumental in finding documents from Meghan's past. With added sass at Harry and his wife about security demands, as the winners can't be shown because of their importance to national security, and their lives would be in literal danger.